military experience and, and depression, but I've had <laughs> quite an epic day of skiing today, so it's, it would be kind of hard for me to really put any heart into giving. Good evening. Now, I know I said in my first video that I was not going to make any sort of blogging videos when I'm at home and that I would always try to make my blogging videos while I'm outside or doing my activities. Well, I kind of ran into a slight problem today. I went skiing and I was going to make a blogging video about uh, military and depression and my experience with suffering from uh, chronic depression during my military time and military service. And it turned out I ended up getting a lot of ski footage and I was just having too much fun to really think about wanting to talk about depression. But I figured I'd give you guys a little update because I would say the last two weeks, for one, I didn't get much skiing in. I only got one day in and plus these last two weeks I have been battling some, I'm talking probably the most severe case of uh, depressive disorder these last two weeks. I even had the cops called over to my place once because I threatened uh, suicide. And oftentimes when I have these uh, feelings of suicide, which have been numerous times during the day, and oftentimes since I don't have any uh, social support system, I go to the internet to exp uh, express my feelings. And well, the cops came over uh, once and I told them I was fine because I know what the psych ward's like and that's it's not gonna do me any good. And so, I figured I have probably reached the lowest of the low these last two weeks. I have come to realize that I am truly, really alone. I don't have much of a support system other than people that know me online. And it got so bad that you know, I decided, okay, it's been like 12 days since I've last skied. I'm going to go up there whether it's raining or shine. It was that bad. And it's a damn good thing that I went skiing today because otherwise, chances are the cops would probably be called once again because I was pretty down last night. And what happened, as soon as I started skiing, it took me a few runs to really get back in the groove of things. I find that when I'm really depressed, I get, a l I get really nervous when I'm about to do something that's really risky. Normally, I get really excited. You know, there's always going to be that nerve. Uh, a little bit of nerve involved, but usually when I'm depressed, I get really nervous and I think that's because I'm afraid of getting hurt and then if I get hurt, then I'm going to be even more depressed because then I'm not going to be able to enjoy my activity. And so that wore off after a few runs and by the time I had been like skiing an hour and a half, two hours, oh man, I was, I was in it. I was having a blast making some high speed turns, some fast run outs, getting my jumps back down, just trying to get comfortable in the air. It's been a long time when I took eight years off of skiing and developed more of an upper body that definitely throws your weight off. So when you're going off jumps, it's almost like I'm having to relearn to take, to take, uh, go off jumps. And so after this, uh, if you make it to this point in the blog, after this blog, I'm going to have some clips uh, of my skiing that I did today uh, and I find that actually skiing this is one of the reasons why I'm getting into alpine downhill ski racing and that's what I'm training for is it's it's one thing to just ski but alpine downhill ski racing that's really intense and the fact that I'm trying to get into it in my 40s most people who do that sport are in their 20s if you guys know who Bob Miller is that's Pretty much if you're a skier, everyone knows who he is, Olymp Olympic gold medalist. And so that's what I want to get into. And just, to, just how bad my depression really is, working out at the gym doesn't do any good. Going out for a run or high intensity cardio doesn't do any good. But I think what helps me is when I'm skiing, I'm reminded of my goal. I'm reminded of that hope in my life that things will get better because this time I'm, I'm going to overcome this mental illness for once and for all and so that's my little update uh, my hopefully next time when I make a video I'll definitely be outside and I'm, I'm going to talk about my depression and during the, my military service and then I'll follow up with the next video talking about uh, depression and how to handle depression when you're in your 40s single uh, with little social support and some of my early, my 
early videos are gonna be quite depressing, quite down, but the, the way I portray myself when I'm gonna make these videos, it's probably not gonna sound like it's really as bad as it, as it is because when I'm making these videos, I'm probably gonna be out skiing, enjoying, having fun, out in the sun, you know, living life to its fullest, but I kind of want to give people motivation that you've got to dig deep. You've got to look deep inside yourself and find that one thing that you think can make you happy, whether it's gaming, music, sports. You've got to find that one thing in life that's going to give you just that little bit of hope. And for me, it's not just normal. It's not just regular skiing or free riding or big mountain skiing, whatever skiers might call uh, this sport where you try to ski down like the gnarliest line who can hit the most the biggest air or who can do like the coolest trick off a cliff or off a jump me i'm getting into alpine downhill racing which i think it's probably one of the most intense sports not to mention very high risk but it's one of those sports that uh, just gives me it gives me a reason to live so thank you for watching and now uh stay tuned because right after i end here i'm gonna attach some video clips that I did today and you'll see why it's definitely helping my depression. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as I document my journey to take up alpine downhill ski racing to help overcome my mental illness, make friends, and maybe even one day meet a girl that I can share the rest of my life with. Peace. I gotta build my speed up this top part and then just start turning. Yeah. <laughs>